Hi guys. Uh, my name is Mahesh. I'll tell you about myself. I grew up in Texas. I know, I'm just as surprised as you guys are on that. Uh, it was strange growing up in Texas. I went home a couple of weeks ago, and this is how I knew I was back in Texas. I was listening to the radio and I heard an advertisement for a sporting goods store, and this is exactly how it went. It's like, hey, we've got everything for your outdoor needs. We've got sleeping bags. We've got tents. We've got used firearms. <laughs> Used firearms? You know what they call that anywhere other than Texas? Evidence. <laughs> it's good to be home. People always ask me this, they're like, hey, you're from the South, right? Uh, what's your opinion on guns? My answer is always the same thing. It depends. Do you have a gun on you right now? <laughs> because if you have a gun on you right now, guess what? Your opinions just became my opinions. <laughs> You like guns? Hey, I love guns. You like hunting? I love hunting too. You don't like Indian people? I'm Mexican. <laughs> my, uh, my first job in Texas, I worked at this big corporate company where I was only one of two Indian people in the entire company. And uh, the crazy thing is they got us confused the entire time I worked there. <laughs> Really, it gets worse, because we don't look anything alike. Like, I'm five foot seven and I have a beard. The other guy was a woman. It's like, how many times do I gotta tell you people I am not Priyanka, okay? Let's figure this one out. I, uh, I saw something weird uh, the other day. I saw this kid eating a slice of pizza. He took a bite out of the pizza and he threw it in the trash can and his mom got so mad at him. She's like, why would you do that? He's like, I didn't like the taste of it. She's like, oh really? You didn't like the taste of that pizza? You should be thankful you have that pizza because there are children in third world countries that are starving. That just got me thinking, what are parents in third world countries telling their kids? Right, like is there a kid in India coming home from like a 20 hour day at work like, mom, I hate this job. She's like, oh really? You hate your job? You should be thankful you have that job. Because there are college graduates in America that are unemployed. Oh, thank you, you guys are right, that's a good joke, thanks. I agree with you guys, I agree. Uh, so this happened to me the last time I went home. Uh, I got stopped at the airport for a random security check. And uh, it was weird because two guys were doing it and one guy was talking to me the entire time and he's patting me down and he gets down to this general region right here and he stopped and he looked up at me and he's like, hey man, I just want to let you know this is just part of my job. <laughs> Nobody is enjoying this right now. That's when I looked down at him and said, hey man, speak for yourself. Uh, <laughs> having a blast here, guys. Uh, that was weird, though, because I wasn't even in the airport. I was just at the Wendy's next door to the airport. So, uh, <laughs> stepping up their game, I guess, is what's happening. There's a new thing called ghosting. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but it's uh, when you're dating somebody, instead of breaking up with them, you can just stop responding to them and disappear like a ghost. Uh, I read about something else. They're calling it zombieing. That's when an ex gets back in touch with you after a long period of time. So I came up with my own thing. I call it mummying. Mummying is just when you try and preserve a relationship long after it's been dead. <laughs> I, uh, I like to do that joke and then look at the couples in the audience and try and see who's getting mummied right now. It's, uh, there's a couple people in here. <laughs> Here's the thing with dating sites though, like Tinder is like the big thing right now, right? Like I wanna make my own version of Tinder. I wanna make an Indian version of Tinder. Uh, it's gonna be exactly the same. It's gonna show you people, you can swipe them right or left. But the difference is gonna be if you match, instead of opening up a chat room between you and the girl, it opens up a chat room between your parents and the girl's parents. <laughs> And uh, you're automatically married. I call it Tindia. Hey, you guys are great. My name is Mahesh Kutagi. Thanks a lot. <laughs>